Hello YouTube, my name is Core and welcome to my channel. So today I will be showing you how to create a professional eBay listing for clothing. Let's get into it. Right, so now we're on our eBay create your listing page. Today I will be listing uh, men's Jordan basketball vest and I've already entered uh, all of the details just to keep the video short, but I will talk you through each section arguably the most important section in my opinion with the product title is the images so let's uh, first uh, list items what you need uh, to have great images so first first up uh, eBay wants your images to be 500 pixels on the longer side of the image I think it's way too small I take my photos with iPhone uh, in the square mode and they come out like 2000 times 2000 pixels and I think it's a great size in case people want to zoom out and see the closer detail of your product. Then second one, uh, have them white background or like a lighter one tone background with whatever you want to put like a under it. If you can't remove the background, uh, just have it like a one tone. Don't make it like too colorful or like wild, make it single tone and then uh, your product should be showing around 80 percent of the total image uh, don't make it like a small tiny bit in the middle and have a lot of white uh, area around it or don't make it the other way around as well that uh, you make it so close that corners of the picture frame sort of cuts out some of the bits of the product so yeah uh, you can kind of look at my images here that's sort of the uh, look they want Make sure you don't have no watermarks on your images, no logos, no writing. And that's due to because uh, eBay works in partnership with Google. And if you have a nice crisp images uh, with white backgrounds, no uh, extra stuff on it. And you also enter your product codes and style names. Uh, you have a chance of getting your product onto uh, Google shopping pages. So. In my eyes, that's already a uh, incentive enough just to start making uh, white background images. I take them all flat lay on the floor. I prefer them that way at the moment, but you can do the same thing on hangers and the mannequins or uh, wear them yourself as long as you remove the backgrounds. So, or just make them white. So that's sort of the guidelines what eBay wants you to uh, follow. And a uh, few extra things what I would uh, include would be uh, if you sell clothing, uh, include measurements into your uh, product the product images already. So like you can see in mine, I, I'm taking uh, bit to bit and length measurements so people can see the measurements right in the pictures. They don't have to uh, scroll down to the item specifics or item description. The reason I've started doing this myself is uh, we found that when we put the measurement details into the product description, we still kept getting messages from customers asking, can you send us uh, item measurements? And uh, then we either just had to reply, copy paste this uh, measurements or tell them to look into the product description. I've started putting them into uh, product images and level of these messages have dropped incredible amount. So yeah, definitely something to uh, add into your images. And sometimes it's a good way just to fill the images because you might not get 12 images as I definitely recommend try to fill all 12 images and then you can just almost add like two images just because you add in the measurements. I recommend uh, taking images of all the defects if the item has any just to show them right in the product photos and any care tags, brand tags or take pictures of any like uh, stitchings if a brand is known by that uh, by like Levi's or if you sell vintage like take a picture of the stitching of like a single stitch t-shirts. Uh, any details that might be relevant to the customer or they might want to see the detailing of it take a picture of it I'm sure you can get uh, all 12 images uh, filled in and uh, definitely don't use less than six I would say but always try to uh, 
usual 12 and uh, also eBay now recently has started using the add video so you can add little clips uh, of your products so I would recommend uh, modeling your uh, item clothing items if you can unfortunately I'm a little bit too large I can't really wear none of my stuff but that's definitely one thing I would like to start doing uh, in the future that maybe hire somebody to uh, wear the stuff take little clips here and there and then uh, we can use it you know in eBay on our social media wherever but yeah with the video section you can just you know get creative and sell your product so just to uh, kind of summarize it I would try to uh, include as much information into your 12 images as possible basically make the 12 images sell your product before people even get to the lower sections like uh, item specifics or description and the main reason for that is because uh, eBay study has shown that more than half of the customers on their platform uh, place orders from their mobile phones and when you look at listings on your mobile phone you, all you can really see is the images product title and the price if you want to see anything else you kind of need to scroll down and I think even click on the C description so we've noticed some people don't even uh, do that and they rather send you a message asking some additional information so try to sell your product in the images section and that's it for the images let's move to the next section what is product title so the next section is the product title now so I've already filled it in Jordan men's uh, vest jumpman logo basketball jersey sleeveless gym top navy size extra large or XL and uh, how I usually uh, try to uh, uh, build my uh, product title is I use the brand number one then gender uh, men's women's kids boys girls whatever it might be uh, then the type of the product like uh, this case vest and then uh, anything else like descriptive uh, keywords that is relevant to this product you are trying to sell so in this case Jumpman logo that's the Jordan uh, brand logo uh, basketball jersey so and then sleeveless a lot of people uh, wear basketball jerseys tops in the gym i also added that it's a sleeveless gym top and then uh, color navy and the size so i've tested the keywording uh, many different ways over the years I tried uh, to put the size into like the uh, beginning part of the product title and uh, in my own, uh, opinion it did nothing because I've talked to eBay themselves and uh, some of their people recommended to put it into the first five uh, words like in that case it would be Jordan men's vest uh, let's say size extra large then I've done that I've uh, tested it over uh, quite a nice period of time and uh, it had no effect I, I would say uh, items actually sold, sold slower I'm, I'm not sure if it's true or if it's correct but over the years that's sort of a uh, way I've uh, described my titles and I think it has worked the best that you put the biggest keywords in the first five and then you can put the color and size at the end of the title you have 80 characters to fill in so try to uh, fill in all 80 on like one short at the moment but uh, don't don't make your listings titles too short so don't just put it that like it's a Jordan men's vest size extra large and that's it it might still sell but it's not the optimum way of uh, describing your product so yeah that's how I build my uh, product title the next part here is a uh, custom label or SKU and uh, I usually fill in all my SKUs because I'm selling on multiple uh, platforms, marketplaces, uh, our own website so I need a SKU to link all these uh, 
listings together. So how I usually uh, build my SKU is again just to try to describe the item as closely as possible. So in that case here, Jordan, B-ball, vest, navy, size, and then at the end I always put the box that I uh, pack my product in that whenever it sells I know which box to go to and I don't have to spend mad amount of time to uh, try to find it. So that's it. It's not uh, like something you have to do, but it will more you start selling, you know, when you're expanding, it will just make your life easier again. So, and subtitle, I uh, almost never uh, fill in because for one, it's expensive. And two, whenever I've uh, filled it in, I haven't really seen the improvement in listing or, or make it make the item sell faster or any of that if you in case sell maybe some product uh, that you can keep repeating you have multiple variations multiple colors and you can always like restock it maybe it's your own brand product you can repeat it like forever almost and there's some uh, offer or something extra you want to mention uh, there because again on the phone app it will show the title it will show your uh, subtitle and price so it might uh, work on this type of listing but on a everyday one-off pieces you can't spend four pounds eighty just to look cool <laughs> so i would leave it and let's move to the next section So next up is uh, item specifics. So again, item specifics, uh, try to fill in as many required uh, details as possible. So whatever uh, is required, you have to uh, fill in anyway, because you, otherwise you can't list it or save the listing. So you have to do it uh, either way. Uh, so in that case here, we have a brand, Jordan brand, color, blue, uh, department, it's a men's, size extra large and type of the product is best so all required nicely filled in then moving on additional same story uh, as many additional product specifiers you can fill in better it would be so uh, you will uh, give your item better chance by being found by a customer so let's say performance here uh, I've uh, filled in basketball but again because of the top can be used for multiple uh, activities I've added bodybuilding gym training and I think that's it for now and uh, product line I put Nike basketball because Jordan is part of the Nike brand uh, I've added that in as well so model I just uh, I couldn't find like a model name there is more like a code on it but I didn't want to use it here so I'm, that case in this case I used the uh, model as uh, jump man so then uh, fabric wash I put it dark because it's a navy blue uh, top accent I put it that it's uh, embroidered and logo and uh, yeah embroidered logo so it has an embroidered logo <laughs> sleeves obviously sleeveless then features I put it uh, breathable and it's a very light uh, basketball vest uh, character I uh, I couldn't think of any so this one I left out then style is a jersey uh, neckline it's uh, round like a round neck so uh, use that fit it's a regular uh, extra large then the material was 100% polyester pattern kind of solid pattern there is no uh, no patterns on it it's not quite vintage yet I know it's a it's an old top actually because it was one of my own and uh, bought it really long time ago and compression level it's just it has none it's just a nice kind of loosey not loosey but like a, uh, there is no uh, compression level on it so closure it's a pullover fabric jersey team it's a sports and then manufactured where it was made i put it thailand because the tag says so season i mark all because people can play basketball all year round indoors outdoors 
or go to jib with it so so occasion active wear and uh, graphic print there's no prints so no uh, color style this i need to uh, kind of none of them are uh, maybe banned because it has a little like a line but none of them were really applicable for this product so i left it uh, not filled i didn't fill it in then uh, personalized it's not and handmade also no then uh, mpn so uh, i uh, filled in that code on a tag so always whatever like style codes uh, product code you can find on uh, like uh, tags or uh, box of your products try to fill them in again it will help you uh, paired with your white background crisp nice images it will give improve your chances of getting your items to the Google shopping pages so definitely as many item specifics you can fill in it will uh, you should be rewarded for these this little extra work then just size i actually measured it uh, it's on the pictures but i put it in here as well 120 centimeters uh, it's machine washable and it shirt is 77 centimeters in length so that's all in as well this product listing is a single size variation listing so there is no variations but i will be uh, covering uh, multi variation listing in future videos as well if that's something you uh, would need help with and that's it so all the specifics uh, I was able to fill in I think it's more what else it gives actually all right EAN code I don't have but like whenever you have a new with tags product fill that in as well that's the barcode on your hanging tag usually or on your box when you get uh, that as well so again that will help you with uh, google shopping so next section we have is a uh, item condition so item condition i would uh, describe the product as well as possible any defects any uh, is it new is it used is it new with tags is it new without tags is it uh, new with defects Anything that is relevant for the condition of the item you are sending, uh, I would add in there. Like this item here, used has some signs of wear and few fabric imperfections. So all this uh, is covered here. And also I've shown the uh, faults in my product images. So the reason for that is uh, before a person buys the item, they can actually tell uh, how good of the condition the item is and what they're actually buying so uh, and that like hugely cuts back your uh, returns so because person already knows exactly every uh, problem there is with the item or or if it's just in a perfect condition uh, there's no need to return it and it also improves your chances of getting a uh, perfect feedback so again uh, condition section very important put it all in there and uh, at least people then know what they're actually buying right next up is uh, product description so product description uh, you can describe kind of anything that uh, you were not able to bring out in your uh, item specifics or you just want to sort of repeat everything that uh, is there and the format you should be using uh, is uh, font just black and uh, between 12, 12 and 14 pixel font size so that's the recommended uh, by eBay just to uh, keep it mobile friendly as again like over half of the customers come from uh, smartphones and phones and tablets it will uh, show correctly on their them devices so again i'm just sort of covering everything what's already in uh, item specifics brand team i put jumpman uh, size then i'm again bringing out the uh, measurements design just describing the design so this i haven't been able to really uh, 
detailed in product specifics but if they want to come to the product description they can see it here then material machine wash then the describe a little bit more of the color that it's a navy blue with white trim lines and then i really like to uh, repeat the condition in my product description as well so an all in all product description is sort of like a more free place to like put your own spin on describing your product so as long as you keep them like black font uh, 12 to 14 pixel font size you know bring them make them in bullet points or like sections that they will be still mobile friendly uh, you can kind of put it whatever you want there extra just to maybe giving us sort of overview what you uh, as a company is about your story or mission uh, personally I've been putting like uh, little text underneath there that because I've been selling like used clothing and vintage clothing for the last 12 years almost now that how many tons of uh, used clothing we've uh, saved going to landfill so like little uh, topics like this you can add in there and just give a customer a little bit of like an extra feel what your company or you as a seller are all about that's all for description and let's move on to the price section so now we are on on our price section so uh, how I usually do my pricing is I try to uh, at least 3x my investment so let's say I bought it for uh, Fiverr I need to kind of sell it on for 15 uh, plus postage preferably and if you can get more great uh, if you can't uh, I would try not to bother myself with this item especially when it's a one-off item if it's a product where you can get like all those different variations different colors and you know you can get to keep repeating it then it's a sort of different story then uh, in many cases I'm just happy with doubling uh, and taking less margin uh, but I know over time I can make more money so but yeah single item 3x and more and then anything less than that I I would avoid it and uh, yeah so but also you need to do some research before you actually start pricing your item so in that case Jordan uh, basketball uh, vest I just what I would do I would just go to the eBay search section type in Jordan basketball vest and kind of go through all the sold listings so I would filter them uh, sold from here and see what has sold in the last 90 days and kind of price my item according to that so I would uh, like here all the Jordan like uh, jerseys I would avoid because that's not really relevant I'm more after like stuff like this what is plain just with the Jordan logo and uh, I kind of went through it and based on my condition and the item it is I priced it 15 pounds so I only found like one exactly the same item just in grey color apparently they sold it 22 pounds plus three postage but I guess it's a they took offer but that item here uh, is quite a bit better condition than mine so I lowered my price to 15 quid and I would be happy to get 15 quid for it so that's how I price my items you know there's different uh, ways of pricing but I think that's kind of straightforward way and if you like let's say uh, you're selling new with new items there's also good uh, eBay tool called Terapeak where you can go uh, and do your research how um, what's the sell through rate what's your competition stuff like that what people are selling the certain products you thinking of getting in and selling or you already have you want to sell it so just use all the eBay tools there is uh, to make these informed decisions so then uh, you know post its policies and these things you need to figure out yourself uh, where you want to ship do you want to do international domestic which way so I usually uh, offer uh, free shipping domestically 
and uh, for international currently I use global shipping program by eBay and uh, I just send the stuff to their depot and they they post it to wherever the customer is but yeah the free shipping is just something you need to figure out if you wanna uh, of, if you wanna offer to your customers or you wanna do the like let's say 15 plus shipping uh, but I kind of try to see it the way that I'm a, I'm a customer myself and I do like sellers who offer free shipping and I don't really like to uh, see if there's a Jordan jersey for 15 quid I'm happy with the price and then I scroll down and see if there's a three or four pounds shipping on top of it so and you if, if you order uh, if you offer uh, free shipping that doesn't mean that you're just taking the hit on postage you just have to uh, build the price postage price into your selling price so again these things you need to kind of figure out yourself what what your margins what you want and if you sell this item and that the shipping into the selling price is it still a attractive offer for the customer so these things you need to kind of think through before you actually list in your item and then next section we have is promote this listing so promotions uh, if it's a branded item like this one is Jordan uh, I usually don't promote it because it's a known brand and like Nike and Jordan is sort of my uh, and Adidas as well is sort of my favorite brands to sell these things if it's a quality item good condition good price people will find it and it will sell without actually paying extra to eBay to get it bumped up a bit so yeah on branded items if if you've done the previous steps all uh, like I've told you and it's a quality listing quality item quality price uh, competitive price uh, then you should not have any issues selling it without the promotion so but if it's a sort of a unknown brand or uh, like a less known brand or maybe even unbranded then I am doing like the minimum 2% promotion and then uh, that hopefully helps to push it out a little bit as well yeah so I think uh, that's sort of it your payment and policies you need to kind of uh, figure out yourself what what, what uh, you want to offer free returns paid returns uh, 30 day returns 60 day returns whatever you want to do but uh, that's sort of the basic listing process how to create a uh, quality professional listing that will sell so I will list it and display the listing right now and then we are done right done real listing so here it is so nice big pictures you can zoom in see all the details tags um, they're all here easy to see for the customer condition everything is here so yeah, plenty of product specifics and our little description here as well. So I think uh, this listing came out quite nice. So so there you go. That's how I list my products on eBay clothing. Uh, I will be doing a separate video for like media and like tech and electronics. Uh, but like 90-95% 90, 90, of stuff I sell is all clothing. But yeah, if uh, you need help with any of the information in this video, I am free for freelance uh, and like guidance calls via Zoom, whatever you need. So I'm doing a lot, of, lot more freelance stuff now. So whatever you need help with, get in touch. I'll leave my email on the in the description. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.